Hello fellow subscribers, future subscribers, or people in general that are just watching my video to see what my channel is about. I have an update on the STH10 build. I finally took everything out of the old Corsair 540 carbide series case and I have transferred it into my case, the STH10. So I am going to try to show you guys what I did and everything like that. I'm going to have to probably put it on a laundry basket. And I apologize that it's not like the best quality video and all that stuff. And yes, I have a pink chair because I really don't have money for buying another chair. But anyways, here is the 480 rad installed here. Painted black fans mounted with uh, shorter screws as far as the top. And what I mean by that, the black screws is a little bulky at the top, so I can't do what I want to do as far as putting the acrylic back here. Well, by doing that, I should be able to put the acrylic here. I hope there's enough space I think there is, and that's why I'm doing that. Okay, here you can see the window right here is smoked acrylic. I have a cutout at the bottom right here at the front let me see if this camera is actually long enough so I can show you at the front I got the Asus ROG front panel base right here the 360 radiator mounted right here okay and um, if you guys want to know what it looks like when it powers on I shall give you a little preview of that just keep in mind um, I'm still working on it and I have to open up the window here to get airflow into the case because I don't have these front three fans connected so I open this up so the cards can get some fresh air and everything like that because this is predominantly a water cooling case and I still need to get some water cooling parts so let's go ahead and fire it up and I shall show you what it looks like I'll probably do this in the dark so you can see what it looks like. Also, I was having a little trouble because of the audio cable that connects to the ROG front base panel that it is not long enough. I need about a three foot cable for this case, obviously, on how big it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and power it up so I can show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is what I was talking about with the clear carbide window. How this right here would be really really overpowering as far as the lights and everything like that but since I have the smoked acrylic here it looks really nice and has a mellow white tone to the case or to the lights I should say now if I open it up it's gonna be a different story so let me go ahead and right there open that up so yeah Okay, and then I got something going on on my computer. It's not showing for some reason. I have to do Control Alt Delete and find my drives again. It's a lovely deal that you have to do sometimes with uh, this computer because it was booting up fine before. So I don't know why it's not doing it now. So let me go here where it goes to boot. And I'm going to go into my boot option. And that will be the reason why is because it's trying to boot into my Western Digital hard drive instead of the other one. So boot option one should be my Samsung 240 instead. And then I'll hit F10 and then hit yes. Okay, sorry about that. I had to change a couple of settings but you can imagine these going on <clears throat> this stuff right here will be cool <clears throat> with the uh, water blocks on it I'm seeing if my computer is actually going to boot okay it is booting thank god something happened in the BIOS I don't know why but right here it looks really good um, I'll try to give you a better view of it what it looks like there you go so you can see these white LEDs are very very bright here and then I have the start button all that stuff don't worry about these fan connector this right here is actually from the rad 
just dangling. But here, here's again what it looks like with it shut. See how it just blocks out all that white light. It's not as powering or overpowering. Um, go over here. This right here is going to be the Sasonic uh, 1250 power supply. And if you go all the way to the bottom, here's the I.O., you know, graphics cards. Go to right here. Here's my AX1200 power supply right here, which I still need to install the uh, software on it to see how it works and everything like that. Because apparently, let me go ahead and focus it on me now. Apparently, you can monitor some of the uh, power draw on the power supply. You can actually disable the power protection that's on the power supply if you want to. All that fun stuff. Um, here, I'll show you. I forgot to show you what the front base looks like when it's lit up. So here's the front base and everything like that. So it looks pretty sweet and everything. So you can monitor your temperature, your CPU, all that fun stuff. And it looks like it doesn't truly initialize for you to see all the settings unless you're logged on into the PC. So let me do that real quick. So now it should be able to uh, display it, but if not, Oh well, I'll think around with it to show you guys everything. Um, so it's just initializing. So yeah, it might take a little while for it to initialize and all that fun stuff. And now I have updates and all that crap. So go figure, right? <laughs> um, let me see here. It's not displaying the time or anything, so... I'm going to have to figure out why it's not displaying it because it did before. If you look right, if you look right here. See, there's no time being displayed and stuff like that. So I have no idea why it's doing that, but it looks pretty cool when it is, you know, initialized and everything like that. Appreciate everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for your support and etc. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. Guys, have a great day now.